This floor was built in the 1930s or 40s. I'm not 100% sure if this first floor here is the original floor. I know upstairs would be. I'll just show you why you can't full sand this floor. I, I wouldn't recommend it, and myself, I wouldn't even attempt doing it. So the first thing I look at when considering to refinish a floor is you're looking between the planks, right? The seams here. Now, if you look at this floor, you can see nail heads everywhere throughout between the planks, right? Now, somebody at some point also, because the, the planks were probably becoming loose because there's no meat holding down, you can see where this has been sanded, that the, the material that's, that's here was actually sanded away and this peeled off. So these are the nail heads that were installed originally, right? You know that this is 3 8 thick oak. And so what happened was over time, the planks must have been loose. So what they did was they started putting nails in the center of the boards, right? To reinforce the floor. And that's, you, you never face nail like this in an open floor, right? When you install a floor, you only want to go in the seams. Now, at one point when this wood was fully thick, when it was brand new, and maybe the first sanding, there, you would not, not have seen this big gap here, right? So this gap occurred through multiple sandings. This floor has probably been full sanded a few times. Over here you can see the god-awful mess the edging was done here, right? And over here you can see that the floor is just, the seams here are gone. So it's been sanded away and worn and now there's, there's nothing there. So if I was to hit my drum sander on here, you got to realize we're taking approximately the thickness of a credit card off and sometimes even a little more. So if I was to start drum sanding this, all of this is just going to peel back. Any, anything material that's left there is going to become so paper thin, it's just going to peel back and peel away. So this is a floor that's at the end of its line, you know, it's at the end of its rope. Um, a screen sand and a refinish is really all you can do here. Now I know for a fact that this is a rental unit, this house, so you know she's basically just prepping it to make it look nicer for for the renter. What they could do, because this is 3 8 thick, so when I talk about the seams we're looking here. Originally your meat that you have from the surface to your tongue and groove is right here. Now, of course, it's not going to be the same everywhere on the floor because, you know, the, the certain areas don't get sanded as, as deeply as others, but you can see how thin it's becoming here, right? So if I go ahead, now this piece is coming right out, and that's just the end of the plank anyway, but if I was to start sanding this, and I sand, you know, even half this thickness right here, if I take the edger here to do this area, right, because it's over a vent, I'd have to edger this, and I start hogging this down, this little piece here is going to be so thin, it's going to be like a piece of paper. It's just going to, you know, it's just going to break away. So those are the first signs you got to look for when you're going to assess how you're going to sand a floor. If it's like that, you know, you just don't want to even bother drum sanding this. And these floors, to tell you the truth, they're so thin that rather than ripping them out, you could just lay right over top of it, you know. You get a full, now in the modern times, you can put full three-quarter thick hardwood over top of this you don't have to but it's our, because you have you already have a nice flat base right because underneath here are the the subfloor boards and I believe with this home um, they're probably on a diagonal no actually they're straight but um, they're about you know an inch thick right the subfloor boards and they're about five inches wide so you know again so but that's another thing altogether anyway I'm getting off track here but anyway when you're assessing uh, refinishing of a floor, you have to look at those types of things, especially on this 3-8 stick material. Mm -hmm.